The Incomparable is the newest tier 10 steel battleship, and it has six guns, much like a Shikishima, and a ton of gimmicks to go along with it. Huge guns, fast speed, great concealment. And I'm not a fan, but to really understand why, we need to first look at what this ship is in World of Warships. You'll find Incomparable in the Armory and available for 31,000 steel. And if you use the coupon, of course, you can get it for a little cheaper at 23,000. This is about in line, as you can see the Shikishima is 32 and the Borgone is 30. It's around the battleship price for a steel battleship. The first thing we need to talk about is the battleship's health and that you have the lowest HP of any tier 10 battleship. You do get a super heal to somewhat make up for this, but it still is very, very low HP and combined with the overall weak armor, I would say, it's a tough ship to get a lot of tanking done in. That said, I have had games up over 3 million potential damage, and these games come down more to maneuvering rather than relying on the armor. You don't actually get the opportunity to slot the propulsion mod, but that's because it's somewhat baked in. The time taken to reach full speed is only 40 seconds when compared to other battleships at tier 10 that have 60 seconds. The improved rudder shift time is also what helps you dodge and tank through dodging. Unfortunately, your turning radius is really, really bad, and combined with low HP and bad armor means you're not going to get away with turning out in front of someone. You're not ever going to fit a full 180 degree turn inside somebody's reload. But what you can do when you're angled is small movements in your rudder and your speed to dodge as many shells as possible. The maneuverability really is a mixed bag, but here's where some of the gimmicks come in and really help this ship out. The speed boost really helps you to accelerate quicker and get around the map a lot faster, giving you the ability to take advantage of this incredible concealment. That's really important to know how well this ship is able to flank. Combined with Brisk, you're moving around the map undetected incredibly quickly and launching surprise salvos on unsuspecting ships. And if you get yourself into torpedo trouble, the personal hydro, much like that of the Daring, for example, helps you to have a little early warning on those dangerous torpedoes given your low HP pool. So far, this ship doesn't really seem that good. And to make up for that, we need to talk about the guns. And this is the true selling point. Combined with the concealment and speed, having 508 millimeter guns with a ship this quick and concealed, theoretically, you're going to be catching people off guard and absolutely destroying them. Unfortunately, to get these big guns, the Incomparable gives up a lot, and I'm not expecting the DPM to be particularly high, but it being lower than Shikishima means that you do have a longer reload than the Shikishima as well. The comparable 508-510mm steel battleship. To add to this, the Incomparable only gets middle of the road AP pen values. So it's not as punchy as the Shikishima is at those ranges, even though you get the same levels of overmatch, which is admittedly a very big strength that we can't ignore. The major threshold here is 32 millimeters. Alongside the Yamato and Shikishima, Incomparable can now go through the bow and stern of most battleships at the tier, assuming there's no icebreaker. What surprised me the most about the Incomparable is that it actually doesn't get the improved HE like most of the British battleships do get. You don't have the improved pen of a quarter pen, and your fire chance and fires per minute are actually really quite low for a battleship. And coming from something like the Thunderer, which was our last major premium high tier American battleship, it's certainly not as good, which I think is actually a good thing. 
But since you can't rely on the HE, and your range is actually quite low, you're very one-dimensional in that you have low alpha damage, and you basically just rely on the overmatch to get yourself some damage. Incomparable is a decent battleship, and I've had some really good success with it on these fast, concealed flanks, getting these surprise salvos into people. However, it's very difficult to make use of this most of the time, considering there's often carriers in tier 10 games and destroyers that are just going to be out spotting you. And it's very easy to get yourself in trouble in a ship like this, since your turning radius is so bad, you can't really remove yourself from these poor situations. And you're probably gonna die, much like I am here. Speaking of the AA, it's really nothing to write home about. It's one of the worst AA suites of any tier 10 battleship, but that's not really saying much since they're all pretty bad. For the most part, I actually found Incomparable very frustrating to play, and it comes down to the six guns that it has. Only six guns, with not a great reload, not impressive pen, not impressive HE, really it comes down to the inconsistency that six gun battleships suffer from. Even ships like Georgia that have some improved dispersion, Incomparable also has improved dispersion, and I find both ships very frustrating. If you're someone who can enjoy Georgia, I think you'll probably enjoy Incomparable. But for me, I just don't enjoy these six gun battleships with low HP, low armor that rely on gimmicks to make up for those inadequacies really compared to the standard level of what a battleship has for tankiness and dispersion and shell count. I just don't enjoy that playstyle where I'm reliant on my concealment, my maneuverability and speed to get myself into good positions to make use of these big guns. And then when I finally do get into that position, they just let me down because I only have six shells. Overall, this is the build I had the most fun with, running Brisk as well as the Super Heavy HE, since you do have an improved heal, even though you can't heal back as much as some of the higher health battleships do, you do get a super heal, and that can negate some of the fire issues, along with your desire to stay in concealment, you're not on fire as much, so getting more alpha damage can certainly help out. Taking Emergency Repair Expert is pretty much required since you only get two Super Heals base, so up to three now with super, this uh, upgrade. Taking Concealment, of course, we're wanting to take advantage of that absolutely ridiculous 10.6 kilometer concealment. And last, I'm going to be taking Fire Prevention. But I have played this ship with a more normal commander. This is my standard British battleship commander. But since it is a premium, you can run any one of your high level commanders from a destroyer or a cruiser and spec it out for its battleship tree and have a dedicated commander for it. That's why I went with the super heavy AP one, since it's pretty funny to have over 20,000 alpha per shell. As for upgrades, I think you really do need to maximize your reload as much as possible since you don't have very much DPM to begin with and you lack on alpha, so it's hard to get damage out of these six guns if you take range mod. Of course, you can use your spotter plane to reach out to those longer ranges when needed. The improved concealment allows you to play with these closer ranges and not do too badly with them. Of course, we're gonna take concealment, and like I said, you can't slot the acceleration mod. However, it seems to be baked in a little bit, and combined with your engine boost, which has been a little bit bugged, I'm sure you guys have heard about that, but for those of you watching in the future, it will definitely be patched. Uh, it helps with your acceleration, assuming the patch goes through. Uh, the hydro is just that short range personal hydro gimmick, and it does help with detecting torpedoes, and that's about it really. Taking the improved aiming systems, because we only have six guns and it's very frustrating when they miss. I'm taking the engine boost to make as much use of it as possible. Getting the duration up a little bit is quite nice. As far as dealing with that lack of range, I think it was manageable, but if you're struggling, definitely go just take range mod. It's worth it to uh, stay in the game a little longer, 
and don't get yourself caught like I did a couple times in this video and die very early on. Overall, I don't like Incomparable. I don't think it's a good ship and I think there's much better options for steel at the moment. Borgone especially and even Shikishima I would take over this due to its better armor and ability to play a more normal battleship role, especially given the amount of plane spotting that negates a lot of this concealment. But I do think it's not a bad ship, especially if you're okay with that Georgia playstyle, where you're pretty squishy, you have decent concealment, and you're running around the map quite quickly, having only six guns that do a lot of damage each shell and have decent overmatch. That's the incomparable review. Let me know what you think of this ship in the comments down below. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.